Here we are in Lafayette, California, where this bridge was just uh, installed a couple days ago. So since I was in the neck of the woods, I thought I'd come by and, and check it out. And the uh, so we we built the bridge, but we didn't install it. Uh, Paul with E Builders, E as in Edward, E Builders installed this. He's a great contractor, did a fantastic job. Let's take a look. So we um, we engineered and designed the abutments. Uh, you can see they're they're just really nice looking abutments. You can see the uh, there's no problems with being undercut or something or anything like that. The waterway is, is way down over here. Same thing with that abutment where we're really far away. Uh, we had um, holes designed to be put in there so they can run in different kinds of conduit. Let's take a look at this. Um, bearing kit here. So we have the uh, neoprene plate, steel plate there, neoprene pad, steel plate, and then this, this assembly here, you know, it's a steel plate over there, steel plate with these tubes. We just do that in order to raise the center sill up because you can see that the side sills, side sills hang down lower than the center sill does. So that's just kind of a filler shim piece, but it's all welded up. Um, concrete looks fantastic. Uh, let's check the bolts. All the bolts should be tight. Yeah, they're nice and tight. The uh, neoprene looks good. It's engaging properly, not deformed. So it looks really good. The rail car bridge looks fantastic. You can see this is the, originally the rail car stopped right over here. So we added this piece over there that sends in our face. That's what we added there. You can see it looks fantastic. And then the post pockets, they'll add, uh, they'll add their own wooden handrails later. This does have the AS250. Look how nice that looks. What a great uh, curb there. This bridge is 12 foot wide. Allows for a ton of room. Look how nice that uh, the concrete curbs turned out over there. That's fantastic. Look how perfect he got it. You know we're we're right there, right at the very edge there. That, that uh, that's just a fantastic job. Look at that. That's uh, that's really good. So here, uh, you know, we have this bit of a gap here, right? So uh, what um, some customers do is on this transition area, they'll actually put a piece of steel down here, right? So you'll need to grind this off, this uh, anti-slip off, and then uh, weld a piece of steel here, you know, maybe um, like a little four inch piece of flat bar, quarter by four, you know, quarter inch thick and four inches by, by 12 foot, and you just, uh, take the grind this off weld it on and then put that other piece here um, so it just gets welded to the deck and it just kind of floats over the concrete that way as the bridge moves uh, that steel plate moves on the uh, concrete that's what's most common there um, or you can just leave that little bit of a gap there check that out so once we uh, once uh, Paul puts those guardrails up which um, the client <coughs> architect um, designed them and then we just engineered them but uh, fantastic looking bridge it's really nice so imagine they'll um, build this in with asphalt so once they fill it in with asphalt, and that looks like asphalt, it'll just feel like a continuous asphalt bridge all the way up. The, the home site's up there somewhere. Uh, this is the, uh, the approach to, the, to their property. Looks really nice. Well, that's it.